What is it? Oh, it's a torch. It's a super, <laughs> super, it's just a torch, I don't know. <laughs> like a flare know. or anything like, like that. Like a stethoscope or something. It's like a stethoscope <laughs> for tunnels, but it's got a nice long straight beam so you can capture okay. the whole... Uh... Okay, you can use this bit as well. Thanks. Even though I'm capturing it on my camera. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Um, two things. Number one, we're in London today. We've gone from rarely visiting big towns and big cities, more covering the countryside railways, to London straight away. Um, number two, we've got some guides today. You might be able to see them in the background. Just see in the background now. Um, so it's always good to have a guide, and we've got a guide today because we're covering the Crystal Palace branch line. Yep, it could be one of those days. So you join us in South East London taking an official guided tour from Jeff and Vicky along the Crystal Palace branch line. Built in 1865, it peels off south here at Nunhead Station, running side by side the main line for around about a quarter of a mile before it turns even further south-southwest. So you join us as we approach the first station of the day. The journey today is going to see us go off from Nunhead and head south to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace high level, what was. We've just left where it came off of that um, the main line and we're going to soon be on a oak. On a oak? On a oak, but not on a road, because I think on a road was the current station. I'll ask our guide in a minute, he'll confirm that. Park on a oak. <laughs> on a oak, that's it. I want to add something else. I want to add a park or a road or a on a oak. Well, on a oak park is, is the current day. Yep. London Overground Station. Yep. I'm going to check on Wikipedia. I think Honor Oak came first. So, so they, the Crystal Palace Railway had the privilege of bagging the Honor Oak name. Okay. And when those guys built their one, they were like, well, we can't call it Honor Oak, let's call it Honor Oak Park. Okay. I'll check the dates on my phone now. Do that. <laughs> right. Got it. It's literally 10 seconds later. So, Honor Oak yep. was first in 1865. But the Honor Oak Station, Honor Oak Park. Yep on what is now the Brighton Main Line, didn't get beyond until 1886. These guys banged the Honor Oak name first. Well done. Right, Jeff, where are we? Forest Hill, Horniman Museum. Horn. Trail. Right. Railway. It's all good. It's great. Now, just the other side of there is the next station to tick off, which is Lordship... Lordship Lane. Lordship Lane. So the line was built in 1865 by London, Chatham and Dover uh, Railway Company as a branch line off of their line down towards Kent. The idea being to service Crystal Palace. Of course, they weren't the first station there. London, Brighton and South Coast Railway had beat them to it, having put their Crystal Palace low level in soon after Crystal Palace was built. And that really is a story of London Chatham and Dover Railway Company's history. They had suffered from significant competition, not just in this area, but also obviously down into Kent itself. In fact, their name was originally East Kent Railway Company, uh, changing their name in 1859 to sort of give you an indication of their aspirations for, the, for their grander plans. We're in Sydenham Woods, Sydenham Hill Wood. Sydenham Hill Wood. Sydenham Hill Wood, and it houses the northern portal of Crescent Wood Tunnel, which will invariably be locked because we're in quite a populated area, as they often are. So this is the first tunnel of two today. This is Crescent Wood Tunnel. It's 400 yards long. It's straight. It's got eight bricks, I think, in its, in its arch. It's elliptical. I don't think we can see too far in this one because it's got a um, two sets of doors. So a quick peek in. And uh, yeah, it looks like some kind of storage in there. So you've got a 10 feet uh, recess and then another set of double doors. So I think we'll probably be able to get some pictures from the other end of the tunnel um, rather than a picture of some steel doors. But you know, quite, a, uh, quite an impressive structure. So our third station of the day, which is Upper Sydenham, 
has the Station Master's house on top of uh, the southern portal for Crescent Wood Tunnel. So we're just heading down the path now alongside um, the portal and down to Upper Sydenham Station. Oh, So you might have to use your imagination a bit here at Upper Sydenham. Um, I think we're about three, three or four feet above uh, the level of the platforms because it goes down to the tunnel um, just in front of us there. But right now where we stood would have been the um, platform heading south. And also right here would have been a uh, footbridge. Just have a quick look at the old side-by-side -side maps. And uh, yeah, it's got a full-on station here despite the fact it was only just a, I don't know, half a mile or so north of Crystal Palace to the final stop. Also, today you get to see, well you don't get to see, but we get to see behind the scenes. But and also if you look at our social media, you'll know that we're fans of Jeff Marshall, Vicky Pipe and all the work that they do. Jeff has recently done quite an amazing little playlist. 10 videos in total it's going to be? It might be 13 now. It might be 13. Lucky 13. London's Lost Railways. If you like what we do on this channel, you'll love that playlist. You can click on the playlist um, by clicking up here or wherever it's been. Link, subscribe and smash yeah, the bell. Smash the button. Do all of those <laughs> things because generally if you, if you enjoy what we do, you'll love that playlist by Jeff. It's a work of art. And when I mean a work of art, I do mean that because it's perfectly tightly informative graphics, you name it. Um, is that, that's payment, right, for, for <laughs> yeah, your talk, yeah, for the tour today, yeah? Yeah, no, you're slightly off script. Let me get uh, a few <laughs> words wrong. Let me just check the notes and I'll... Uh, <laughs> but this is my favourite. Out of all the tunnel portals, I'm even, though, thinking that. even yes. though the one on the north side is sort of more impressive, more people go there because it's the woods. Whenever I've been here, I've been here like three or four times maybe, yeah. it's always quiet and you never see anybody else. And I'm pretty sure that is the original station building as well for yeah. Upper Sydney yeah. Station. So you get a station building, plus tunnel portal, plus no one to disturb you all round with. So this is, this is... The north end of the Paxton Tunnel. I'm so disoriented right now. Yes. Yeah. So we're facing south. We're facing south. Southern portal of the Southern Tunnel, Paxton Tunnel. Interestingly, it's really ornately decorated, as is the Southern portal of Crescent Hill Tunnel further on. What's interesting though is the Northern portals to both tunnels, so as you come into Crystal Palace High Level, are not decorated in any way, shape or form. They're just Very boring. brick boring. But as you go out of Crystal Palace, you've got this. Very strange. Crystal Palace High Level itself was the next and last stop of the day. So you kind of have to use your imagination as to what was here before Crystal Palace High Level. The beautiful ornate um, ceiling, uh, yeah, what is the word I'm looking for? You, see, you didn't mean see roof. Ceiling, roof, roof yes. Yeah. That was my word. <laughs> that Thank was you. Right away. The Crystal Palace subway, which allowed passengers to navigate to the palace itself, is just at the top of this wall here. It still remains today with its beautiful fan vaulted brickwork on display. Full restoration is currently underway, so we intend to come back here once it's fully open. So we hope you enjoyed that little vlog. Uh, big thanks to Jeff and Vicky for putting up with us today. Um, they gave us a really good, insightful tour of the uh, Crystal Palace High Level Branch Line. Yep, and if you click on the link above, you'll see Jeff's playlist for his abandoned lines on uh, the London Railways. And um, if you like what we do, you'll love that. Indeed, and if you're new to our channel, click on subscribe uh, because a lot of you don't do that and you'll get to see our weekly videos. Um, and also if you if you like what we do and you'd like to become a patron, we've got a really good patron community and a YouTube uh, join button membership community. Uh, we do uh, live streams, we do behind the scenes, extra footage, all sorts. Lovely little community, so if you want to help support the channel, feel free. If not, just subscribe and um, we'll, see you watching. Watching. Yeah, keep watching. we'll see you next week.